And now what we're going to do, we're going to swing over to the other front wheel. And I'm going to open up my waypoints here because I've already got a nice camera angle over there that, that I liked for position wise. So I'm going to right click on the waypoints menu and then I'm going to just select this one here and then close this. And you know what? I want to, I just, I want to be in tighter. So there we go. I'm going to work on this wheel right here. So I'm going to select it and see which one it is. And it's wheel FP. So I'm going to right click and say edit variants. And it's going to update the, the variant set target up here. And I'm going to make a new variant set and we're going to call it um, rims FP. And then my initial variant is going to be called rim one. And just like previously, what we want to do is go and grab the things we're changing and we're going to push those just by drag and drop right in here. And expand all of those. And just like before, all I want to do is add my visibility parameter. And you see this one here is showing me this red, uh, or the, I'm sorry, this yellow L. So what, what is this? I'm going to hover over it for a second. It says a local opinion is overriding your variant opinion. Click here to remove the local opinion. So what is that? This is a good time to talk about liver peas or USD opinion order. A USD opinion uh, happens in a, an, an order, in an order of strength in how it's computed. So liver peas stands for layers. So we have our layer stack here and then inherits, which we don't use a whole lot in Omniverse yet, uh, and then variants, and then references and payloads, and then specializes. And specializes, we don't use a whole lot either right now. However, what that does tell you is that variants are number three in that list. So in the event that you've changed something, like these visibility things just here in the stage, you are on a layer, even though it's only one file, so that opinion is recorded there. And that opinion is stronger than the variant we're trying to author. So even if I was to change this here, nothing would happen. You can see that, that nothing is changing on this wheel. And that's because there's a local opinion that is stronger than my variant. So we put this little indicator on here to help tell you that there is an opinion conflict or something that's allowing you to, or disallowing you to see your variant. So if we click it, it'll go away, and then we can see our other wheel. Now, naturally, it's obscured by the other wheel, so let's now deal with that. So we'll just add our visibility to the other ones, and you can see we've got an L there too. And we're just going to go ahead and remove both of those and make them invisible. So now, because we've removed the local opinion, now our variant is the strongest, and therefore we can we can now see it. Right now, the variant editor is the only thing in Composer that's telling you about this individual opinion on a parameter level. But we are working um, on some some methods to help you as a user determine where opinions are at a parameter level in Composer. And these are things that are becoming later on down the road. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and make these next variants.